What's wrong now? Aren't the search and rescue team there? Yes, but the tide's so far out, I'm worried it won't return in time to save the whale. I still don't know what's wrong with my idea of moving the whale to Brendam Docks. Fizzling fireboxes! That's a brilliant idea, Toad. It is? Sir! Sir! Toad's got a plan to save the whale! What's this, Toad? Uh, I, I don't know if it'll work, sir, but I thought that we could lift the whale up and take it to Brendam Docks so it could swim away. Maybe it could be lifted onto a flatbed or something. The Fat Controller thought Toad's idea was a good one. He telephoned the search and rescue manager right away and sent Thomas to fetch Rocky. Everyone was proud to be part of Toad's plan to save the whale. Be careful, Rocky. Don't worry, Toad. I will. Oh, the whale looks very sad and tired. Oh, I wish there was something we could do to make it feel better. I've heard whales like singing to each other. Oh, really? But I like singing too. Oh, steady, Mr. Oliver. Easy does it. Oh, you do need to be back in the water. Oh, you do need to be back in the sea. Are you sure about this, Toad? Oh, yes, Mr Oliver. Whales like singing. Oh, you do need to go where you can swim, 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 swim. As Oliver and Toad jumped slowly and steadily to random docks, Everyone came to see the amazing sight of them carrying a whale. Well, no me down. Is that a whale? Yes, Cranky. Do you think you can get him back into the water? I'll do my best. Goodbye now. I hope you find your family. Oh, no. I can't see him, Mr Oliver. <gasps> there he is. He's safe, Toad, thanks to you. to see an exciting load, look at this! What do you think? It's great, isn't it? Um, what's great, Emily? Can't you see a giant globe on my flatbed? No, there's nothing very exciting on your flatbed. Oh, no! I must have lost it. How could it have come off? I'd better find it again, or I'll never get another exciting delivery. Meanwhile, the giant globe was going on its own little journey. <gasps> Emily was searching everywhere. A great big giant globe like that can't just disappear.
Bailey made up that story about having a giant globe to deliver. <laughs> I know, Annie. That was very silly. Uh, excuse me, you two. We might want to hurry it along a bit. Why? Because there's a giant globe heading right for us! Come on! I can't imagine what's keeping Emily. She should have been here with that globe by now. Where could she be? Hey, Timothy, we're looking for a truck. Yes, a lost truck. It's very important. Then I'll help you find it. Wait a minute. Is this one of your tricks? No, no not at all. No, 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 no not no, a trick. No way. Definitely not. Oh, OK then. So, what does it look like, this lost truck? It's, it's red. orange. It's red and orange and yellow and green and blue and indigo and violet. Wow! That's a very colourful truck. And that's why it's so important. We really need it. We really need it to do... Something, something important. So, if you could find it, then you'd be very clever indeed. It's a surprise, so don't say anything if you see the fat controller. You can count on me. Timothy set off in search of the truck, quite certain he was helping his two friends. Hello there, Timothy. Where are you off to? I'm looking for a truck, Thomas. It's very special. It's red and orange oh, and yellow and green. Really? That does sound unusual. And blue and indigo and violet. <laughs> That's all the colours of the rainbow. I don't think there's a truck like that on Sodor. Oh, no, Thomas. There is. And it's very important. At Brendam Docks, there were lots and lots of trucks in lots and lots of different colours. But Timothy couldn't see a truck like the one Bill and Ben had told him about. <laughs> Timothy chugged past Sodor Animal Park with its colourful parrots. He spotted the Duchess of Boxford in a multicolored dress. And he saw a group of children flying colorful kites, but no multicolored rainbow truck. That doesn't look like the big delivery. Help! Help! Chasing after me! Hey, that can't be right. There aren't any dinosaurs around anymore. Oh, Stephen, she's right. They're coming up the hill. Oh! Raise the drawbridge! Oh, wow. I've never been in a castle before. Shh, listen. It's the dinosaurs. You can hear them breathing. Oh, that sounds more like a steam engine to me. Oh, no. It's the Earl. Do you think the dinosaurs have got him? He sounds happy to me. At last, my shipment has arrived. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Oh, they really are dinosaurs. I never thought I'd see a dinosaur up close. <laughs>
morning, sir. Samson here at your service. Very good, Samson. But we were expecting you yesterday. <gasps> this must be... Yes. The special delivery. Ah, uh, never been to Sodor before, sir. Arrived in the dark and got lost. I see. Spent the night in a quarry, as it happened, sir. Had to wait until morning to get directions. But here I am. And here are all the dinosaurs for my dinosaur park. Dinosaur park? Oh, don't be frightened, Marion. They're not real. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure I didn't think they could be. <laughs> you don't usually get real dinosaurs around these days. Exactly. That's why I've decided to build a dinosaur park. So people can come here and see what these magnificent creatures actually looked like. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm going to need you to keep an eye out for any more fossils and bones around the island. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You can count on me, sir. In fact, there's probably some more lying around the quarry. Or the clay pits. Definitely the clay pits. <laughs> Looks like someone is back to her old self. Yes, Marion certainly isn't scared of dinosaurs anymore. In fact, you could say she really digs them. <laughs> That's not a dinosaur, Harvey. That's a volcano. Uh, uh, a volcano? That's right. There were lots of volcanoes in the dinosaur time. That's why the Earl wants a volcano in his dinosaur park. Oh, uh, but um, uh, what's a volcano? Ah, well, a volcano is a bit like a mountain, only it gets hot, like a huge firebox, and smoke and lava come out of it. Oh, uh, uh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> That's right, Harvey. Volcanoes can be dangerous, all right? Very dangerous. Harvey didn't like things that were dangerous. <laughs> Harvey! You're scared. I'm not scared of anything. And that's not even a real volcano. But Millie had seen Harvey put down the volcano and an idea flew into her funnel. Later, Millie was helping the groundsman collect up the old scrub that had been cleared away and take it to find a place to make a bonfire. Don't you build the bonfire here? OK, Millie. I suppose this is as good a place as any. The groundsman started to prepare for a big bonfire, just on the other side of the model volcano. Harvey and Samson were still setting up the dinosaurs when they saw something very surprising. Wrong, Samson! The volcano! It's erupting! But I thought you weren't scared of anything. And anyway, it's not a real volcano. But look at it! Look! It's hot! Smoke and lava are coming out! <gasps> Maybe it is a real volcano! Help! Volcano erupting! Uh, call Flynn! Call Bell! Call the Sonor Search and Rescue Centre! <laughs> Silly big engines. Wait, Millie! That way is too dangerous! Millie, the volcano is erupting! That's not a real volcano. It's only a model. <laughs> That's not the volcano. It's just the groundsman's bonfire. <laughs> Tricked you! <laughs> <laughs>